सो आई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड आई एम बैक अगेन विद अनदर वीडियो विच इज पार्ट ऑफ माई पाइथन बेसिक सीरीज एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज क्लीनिंग द एम टी डेटा सेल्स इन ए पांडा डेटा फेम सो गाइज वी हैव बिन टॉकिंग अबाउट पांडाज अ लॉट एंड नाउ इट्स अ टाइम टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वी कैन क्लीन अवर डेटा वी नो हाउ टू इम्पोर्ट आवर डेटा वी नो हाउ वॉट इज डेटा फ्रेम वॉट इज पैंडा सीरीज एंड वंस वी हैव इम्पोर्टेड आवर डेटा एंड वी वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट एनालाइजिंग इट इट इज वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट डेट योर डेटा मस्ट बी क्लीन एंड इट शुड नॉट बी फिल्ड विद नल वैल्यूज और नैन वैल्यूज सो वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन डू द एम टी सेल ट्रीटमेंट सो गाइज इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियोज एंड यू वॉन्ट मी टू कीप क्रिएटिंग दिस कॉन्टेंट एंड प्लीज 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 डू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल हिट द बेल आइकन फॉर फर्दर नोटिफिकेशन ऑल्सो डू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स एज वेल एंड विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम फॉर द लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो गाइज एज यू कैन सी ऑन माई स्क्रीन आई हैव इम्पोर्टेड पांडाज एज पी डी इन दिस लाइन हेयर सो नाउ माई पांडाज लाइब्रेरी विद इज विद मी The data which I am going to work with today is the Titanic data set. So that's why I have got PD dot read CSV, and inside my Titanic folder, I have the training data in the CSV format. So now I have imported this data. Let's do DF dot head, and as you can see here, we have got multiple columns. But the important thing to note in one of the column is the cabin column, where you can see that lot of the cabin values are actually NaN values. So guys, these NaN values, these empty values, create a lot of problems while uh, statistics, uh, statistical analysis of the data, because these null values do not amount to any numerical value, and that is why we are not able to statistically analyze them, and they create a lot of noise in our data. So guys, the first thing is to start uh, checking which columns are having the NaN values. so there is a uh, function called as is any so whenever you do df dot is any you will actually get the entire data frame you can see the entire data frame in which each and every cell is marked with a boolean value so if the cell is having data it is marked as false if the cell is not having data it is marked as true so just like that you can see the first cabin value is true because the cabin value was none but definitely it's very complex to understand it's very complex to understand uh, which uh, column is having any empty of value just with df dot is any so if we just add here one of the function called as any so df dot is any any will actually give you a list of all the columns where the boolean value is false it means that that column is not having any null values and wherever the Value is true. It means that this column has some null values. So, guys, that is how you can know which column has null values. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, guys, now that you understand which columns and which is not having any null values, you can start to clean them. And the first method to clean the uh, null values is called as drop method. and uh, let's see how this drop method works okay okay so so guys the drop method basically means is we are going to drop all the cells which are having null values so let me create a new data frame here new df becomes equal to df dot drop any so guys if you wrote something called as df dot drop any then what it will do it will actually remove all the null uh cells actually all the rows in your data frame which are having null values so let me just print the new df dot head here uh sorry new underscore df dot head here and let's analyze here right so you can see that i don't have the passenger id 1 now and why is that let's go above we see that the passenger id 1 was having a cabin which was value null so because we did drop any the entire row was removed so now we do not have any passenger id 1 so guys that's the power of drop any if you do something called as drop any it will actually remove the entire row wherever there is any one of cell which is having an empty 
value so guys always use this draw panel really really carefully you should only drop those rows which are having more than 70% or more than 80% of data as a null value if you just apply this draw panel over a normal data frame then it will actually remove those rows also where only one column or two column was having null value so in that case you lost a lot important data as well so if you want to actually drop selective uh, null values then maybe you can you know uh, specify the rows here or you can have some condition where the no uh, where the uh, number of column nulls are like greater than five five columns are null or greater than six columns are null so you can have all these conditions in this bracket and then if you do drop na you will be able to drop only a certain amount of columns so guys that was about drop another thing is if you do something called as a drop na then it will actually drop all the rows but it will give you a new data frame okay if you want the original data frame to be changed then you have to write something called as in place equals to true so guys if i uh, do in place equals to true let's see this then if you print the new data uh, the original data frame you will see that the original data frame itself got changed so if you want to change the original data frame write in place equals to true if you want to get a new data frame and keep the original as a reference do not write in place equals to true so for now we will just use a new data frame approach so that our original data frame is not uh, changed so if we print df dot head now you will still get the nan values and uh, from now on whatever cleaning will be doing uh, will be as a part of a new data frame okay so guys the next uh, thing is something called as replace the empty values that's another treatment which we use for changing the empty values so how we replace data just like we have a drop any function the data frame also has a fill any function so df dot fill any and whatever value you will write here will be filled in that null column in that null cell so let's make new df becomes equals to df dot fill any zero okay and now if i print new df you, oh sorry new df dot head you will see that the cabin value the passenger id one which had a nan cabin value is now filled with zero okay guys so what will happen in fill na it will replace all the columns with one value okay so what you can do is if you write here in place equals to true then you won't be getting a new data frame it will actually do the changes in the original data frame only so for now i will just remove the in place equals to true because we want a reference of uh, original data frame just to compare so this is clear to you guys that using fill na the entire data frame will be changed but what if i do not want to fill an entire data frame that means i only want to replace specific columns so if you want to replace only specific column you should not use fill na with the data frame you should use fill na with a column so let's suppose i have to replace only my cabin columns and i use uh, fill any and let's suppose i don't want to fill cabin column with something called a zero because that's abstract right cabin values are like uh, numeric uh, alphabetical values c85 c123 so now if i do something called as df cabin fill any i suppose uh, c uh, 200 okay and you can uh, you know you can assign this to new df column and now if i print new df dot head yes so you can see here now your passenger id 1 is having a cabin value c200 instead of 0 so that's how you can fill a specific column okay another thing is 
if you want to fill a specific column with a statistical value so definitely guys uh, let's suppose if i want to fill age right and uh, i want to fill age with a numerical values because if wherever the age is empty i cannot just fill it uh, with something random like see like 200 or 30 or 40 or any number right it should be an average age because for the people who whose age we do not know it should be an average age and how you can calculate an average age using a mean function so guys if we take the same example all you have to do is write new df age df age fill na instead of writing a direct value you have to write something called as age dot mean so guys this mean function will actually calculate the mean of that particular column and that value will simply be filled here so let's first uh, let's try to do this now my new data frame is filled with a mean value let's check what the mean value was so your mean value was definitely something uh, not an exact age it was a decimal value definitely you can you know round this value you can truncate this value you can remove all the decimal points uh, but what we will try to see here is is my age value replaced or not so now if i print the age you can see that on multiple places the age value is actually replaced with our decimal age that means simply by doing df dot fill na and that age dot mean value you actually replace the value with the mean value okay just like mean you can use something called as median and let's see if you are able to get the value or not so my median value was 28 and now if you see your fifth row value is changed to 28 okay so you can use all these statistical techniques mean median and even mode to fill your null values let's try to fill your cabin value with a mode value so mode value is the most frequently occurring value in a column so let's say cabin cabin fill na with cabin let's first try to see what the mode value is actually so df cabin dot mode so guys here you can see that we basically have uh, types of uh, cabin values here we have got b96 b98 c20 c25 c27 and g6 but the value which is at the zeroth position so whenever you are printing mode the value which is at zeroth position is the most frequently occurring value so what we will do here is we will replace the cabin value with the most frequently occurring value by using the zeroth index okay and now if you print new df you will be able to see that the cabin value is actually replaced with p96 p98 okay so guys, uh, that is about how you can clean the data using mean, using mode and all sort of other things. I hope guys this was clear to you and you learned something from it. If you have any questions, please write down in the comment section below. I will be happy to answer them definitely. And guys, before going any further away, please, please, please do subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for further notifications. Please do like this video and share this video with your friends as well. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.